Jim is the president of Miracles for Mary, a charitable organization co-founded by he and his wife, Patty, and formed specifically to continue for others the love and support they received when their daughter, Mary, was critically injured in a car accident. As I approached, I felt like I was running in slow motion. I could see the car and it was crushed. Mary was lying on the pavement being attended to by a paramedic. Both kneecaps were split open. Her kneecaps were exposed and broken. I know I must have been in shock as I stood there stunned. The nurse paramedic looked up at me and she said, there's nothing you can do and we can't help her if you're in the way. Now go get your wife and meet us at the hospital. Within an hour, family who lived close by and our closest friends were there. Soon after that, the waiting room was packed with Mary's friends, her friend's parents, teachers and coaches from her school, all who had come to check on her. Everybody just prayed with us as we waited for the doctors to tell us about Mary's condition. Mary had broken bones in every limb of her body. Her hip was knocked out of joint. Her femur was broken in two. Of greatest concern, however, was that she had suffered a traumatic brain injury and her brain was swelling. Mary would have to have major surgery. They were going to remove a, a bone flap from her skull, giving her brain room to swell and then they would replace it later. It was either that, or we could choose to let her go. And so began the journey that we were still on today. We have witnessed one miracle after another. It was a miracle that Mary did not die on the way to the hospital, in the ER, or in either of the two subsequent complicated surgeries. We have been deeply blessed by so many and everything we have received, all fruits of the prayers lifted up for us, where Jesus touched the hearts of compassionate people who lived out his beatitude. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. We are all suffering souls, but I also know there is grace available. All you have to do is ask for mercy, be merciful, and confident in God's love. When you need Him, He is there. Just whisper, Jesus, I trust in you.